Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more easy problem from lead code. The problem name is increasing decreasing string. So the problem statement goes like this, that you're given a string S as you can see in the input. Now you have to reorder the string according to the given algorithm. Now what you'll do is that you will first pick the smallest character from S and append to the result. Result is the final string that you have to form. Okay. Now you will first check, like you will first choose the very smallest character. Smallest means that if like the characters are from like you can say, like S I order. So A, B, C, D, all of them are small only. And you just have to choose out the very smallest character. Okay. From the whole string and just put it append in the very first position in the result. Then choose the second, second smallest, third smallest and so on. And keep on doing this process until you have like, uh, and you will only choose one character. Okay. You will first choose like, let's say the smallest, then you have, you, you cannot choose that same character. You have to choose the next smallest, next smallest, next smallest and so on. And, uh, and you just have to keep on appending that after that you will choose the largest character and then the smallest. So it is like, you can just say that I'll tell you an example so that, and you just have to form the final string. Okay. I'll tell you how it is formed. So as you can see, like, let's just take this as an example only and to a drawing board. Let's go on to a drawing board. What you can observe here is that this is the string that we have. Now we have to sort this according to the given algorithm. You have to first choose the very smallest character from the string that is a. Then you have to choose the next smallest after this, like you can just choose the larger than a. Okay. Let's say larger than a, whatever character is it. So larger than a is B, we'll choose B. Then larger than B, what character is there? C. Larger than C, no. So from C, you have completed one iteration. And then you have to go backward by backward. I mean that you have to now choose the maximum of this string. So these characters are moved here. Okay. You just have to assume that these characters are removed. Now from the rest of the characters, you have to now choose the very maximum character among the rest of the characters, which is C. Then the smallest of that, that is B. Okay. You cannot choose the same character again. Okay. Even though it is present, you cannot choose it. Okay. Then, then it is B. Then again, the smallest that is A. Then you have to keep on doing this process again from the rest of the characters choose the very smallest that is a then the bigger of that that is b bigger of that that is c and again c then b then a and that's the final answer okay that's the total thing that you have to do you have to just keep on like uh forming a string such that you just have to take out how many characters are there from that choose all those very smallest then the greater than that greater than the greater than that Till you cannot take any greater and then from the greater to the smallest again. So it's like increasing, decreasing type of problem. Now, how can you do such type of problem? It's very simple. What you can do is that you have to keep on doing a while loop over this until you have like exhaust all the characters and make a new string. That is one of the things that you have to understand. Now, how can you make this string? You have to first understand that they should be in order. Like you have to somehow sort them. By sorting, I mean that you have to somehow know key, like how many A's are there, how many B's are there, because then only you can. Like if you, they ask you to like, uh, what I mean by this is, let's say they ask you to first append a, then the character greater than that. So you just have to, you just have to form an array of frequency array. Okay. So let's say for a, how many times a is occurring, how many times b is occurring, how many times c is occurring, how many times d is occurring, so on till how many times z is occurring. You just iterate over this whole string and form the frequency. Array. Like as you can see that a is occurring four times. B is occurring four times, C is occurring four times, D is occurring zero times, and so on and so on. Now what you can do is that you have to first do a while loop until you have. To, so let's say you have to make an array or let's say final string of size twelve. Like how many characters are there? You have to just form that number of characters uh, final string as well. So what you can do is that you have to do a while loop, and in each, first you have to do iteration for from left to right, and if the character is greater than one, you just take that character and append in the final result. So there is a. Okay, just decrease by one because you have used one time. Then B, then C, and there is nothing because all of them are zero. Then you just do a backward traversal over the string. So then C, B, A. And you will only append this character if the character is present inside the array, like if the frequency is not zero. Because if it is zero, which means that you have totally exhausted and put in the final result. Okay. And that is one, one you can just, just one swap. Okay. Going forward, going backward. And then you will keep on doing this, keep on doing this until you have exhausted all the characters and you have formed this thing. That's nothing much complicated here as well. 
So let us show the code part now. First, you have to make a frequency array of all the 26 characters that I've used 30. You can just use 36 to 26 characters. Iterate all the uh, characters inside, inside the string and form the frequency array, which means that how many times A is occurring, B is occurring, C is occurring, and so on. That is uh, stored in this frequency array. Now you will do it, you will do this while loop over this n. n means how many characters you have to like n is the length of the string. So you have to do a while loop such that total number of characters that I have in the string should be appended in the result that I am forming. Result is the answer that I have uh, used here. Okay. So first you have to do a travel from left to right and then from right, right to left. So left to right is the traversal from 0 to 26 characters from 0 to 26. And if the frequency of that character exists, which means that that particular character is still not exhausted and result in the result. I will take that particular character insert it in the answer that I'm building decrease that frequency from the frequency array as well as from n because now I've used one character so I should not be like this while loop will only stop when I've exhausted all the characters like uh, from the answer uh, from the string s to the answer okay that's why this this is also required to uh, reduce and then when I move from left to right then I have to go from right to left as well that is from just back to uh, back to front traversal the same code and this will keep on doing this front to back back to front front to back back to front and keep on like taking out characters from this frequency array if it is present appending it in the answer vector and also decreasing this until it becomes uh, like n becomes zero which means that we have used all the four characters and just we have a final answer that's it nothing much complicated here as well that's all the logic and the code part for this particular problem if you have any doubts you can mention in the comment box of this particular video i will see you in the next one coding and bye